Uh, who or what am I putting on the slab? I'm putting accent snobbery on the slab. Um, there was a story out this week about how 44% of people are self-conscious about their accents at work, uh, so much so that 28% of people actually try and change their accent at work. Um, and I think it's funny because it, it kind of picks apart one of the great myths about Irish society, which is that we are this completely class-free society. Um, and that is totally untrue. We judge people the minute they open their mouth, and we nearly have this like Google Maps for accents in our head, and we try and pinpoint them to a very street address. We know exactly where people come from and probably what their father did by how they speak and woe betide that their perception of how you speak is not what it is so like you can you know I grew up in Waterford um, and I have this a accent that some Waterford people, <laughs> what some is, people what would say it? it's not the traditional yeah. Waterford accent I, I, I have an accent that some people would have said was slightly posh um, and I think in, in our society and well, I, I mean, I am a little bit posh, I suppose. <laughs> own it, own no, it. Okay. Yeah, I own it. I have no, the same you know problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think, um, I think in, in and Ireland... And do people judge you for that? I know they don't. I mean, not, not in Dublin, because I sound like I come from Dublin, but at home I would have got a bit of, but where are you really from? Why do you talk like that? And then, you know, I went to a boarding school, so that was kind of the explanation. Um, but I think, you know, I think we do judge people based on their accents. And, but I think the worst thing that you can be perceived to be in Irish society is posh or having notions about yourself. Yeah. So I, I actually think, you know, it's, it, it's a completely inverted thing. We judge people by their accents, but we want them to sound like down to earth and, and real. And like you see it poor Leo Radker and Owen Murphy get a terrible yeah, time because yeah, they're seen yeah. as the posh boys. And what do you reckon? Do you think, do people well, I think judge people for the being posh? The dogs get an awful time. I mean, I've got are slagged you, a good bit. Are you bit. from Dublin? Well, you know, I mean, obviously <laughs> when I'm on TV, I put my phone voice on. Okay. Is <laughs> this your phone yeah, voice? This is my phone voice. It's not the voice that I'd be screaming at the kids to, like, pick okay. up their ties. Can or... we get to hear that one too? <laughs> no, I'll save that one for later. Um, <laughs> no, you know, I think in today's society, we have multicultural everything. And I do think that, like, people are, like, not talking about accents as much. You do still get the, like, the little slaggings and stuff like that. Like, when you'd watch Love, Hate and, and you'd hear the real dub, like, I loved Nidja's accent. And then all of a sudden you'd hear him break and you're like, he doesn't talk like that. <laughs> you'd hear, like, the little posher accent coming out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, I have never come across being in a situation where I didn't get a job because of my Dublin accent. Like, I am very proud of that. But when I'm on national television, I did get stick for it. And I do speak clearer. I speak clearer because really, if I don't speak clearer, the man down in Cork mightn't understand yeah. the Dublin slang. I've no clue what you're saying. <laughs>